And so let's talk about the Cosmic Owl. Once again, in terms of the appearance, this is a really strange object and almost looks like it's some kind of a mirror image, as if it's just a single galaxy that's reflected, maybe by some kind of a mysterious gravitational lens, or I don't know, some kind of a cosmic string or something. Except that, based on the analysis by the James Webb, along with the ALMA telescope, and the observations with the Very Large Array, researchers definitively know that this is two separate objects. Even though they have nearly identical morphology, they do possess slightly different properties, slightly different types of gas, and even slightly different black holes in their centers. But nevertheless, it's super strange that this is two perfect ring galaxies in such a close proximity. And more importantly, this definitely appears to be some kind of a merger. In other words, these two galaxies are currently colliding, and we know so based on the observations right between them. And actually, it kinda looks like this. Here we have a definitive signs of shock and a lot of starburst formation, with this starburst triggered by some kind of an interstellar shock induced by the collision of these two galaxies. In this image, it's visible as the slightly brighter spot in between the eyes. But there's also this very strange beak. And here, this beak is potentially the result of the binary jet coming from one of these supermassive black holes. And the reason the researchers believe there is a jet is because of the ALMA observations. Here, by looking at this in the radio light, it becomes apparent that there seems to be a hot spot in two different locations, as if there are two jets coming from one of the black holes. With one of these jets pointing directly at one of the collision spots, surprisingly, enriching the starburst activity and creating even more shock. 